and let us all that we can to build a better future. All right, so something's going on. There is uh, cellular outages with AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile uh, customers across the good old USA. So something happened. What happened indeed? What is going on? Well, apparently it's a solar flare. So I guess Goku and friends are just going crazy. If you caught that reference, I love you. If you caught that reference, I love you. Good morning, Oklahoma. Maybe you're looking at your phone and it's saying SOS. What's going on? My husband had that this morning and he's freaking out. And I was like, did you did you do your? Uh Oh, SOS. Who's texting you? SOS. (laughs) Okay, that's probably not what happened. That's probably not what happened. Oh, and it's saying SOS. What's going on? My husband had that this morning and he's freaking out. And I was like, did you did you do your phone updates? No, this is all happening at 3 a.m. So we did that. Coming to work, he's not the only one, guys. If you're experiencing that, it may be a result of space weather, okay? I'm going to do my best to explain what's going on. Krillin, what the hell are you doing? Goku, what are you doing? Knock it off, both of you. Let's go ahead and take a look. So there was a strong solar flare event that happened just after midnight, and they actually captured an image of it right here, okay? I had to look up this scale. I wish I knew everything about space weather. That's a whole different special. Hey, lady, then you better do that next time you're on the news. But R3, that's for radio communications. It's on a scale of one to five, and three is pretty bad. That means it impacts radio communications for a few hours after this happens. And so right now that could be impacting some of our technology. And sadly, we're entering a solar maximum where we're going to see more. Solar maximum. Sounds like an 80s movie right there. Solar maximum. (laughs) Starring Sylvester Stallone in the latest action movie for, 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 for TV night. Coming out in 1982, Solar Maximum. More and more solar storms, solar flares, and it's never happened in this time of human history where we're relying on technology like we have never before. So interesting time. Hopefully they'll fix it. But the good news is at least when you're on Wi-Fi, you should be able to still text and call people, right? But there is an effect on radio. It peaked right after midnight. And there you go. A flare is an eruption of energy. You have the electromagnetic wave shooting towards the Earth at the speed of light. So it's almost immediate impact on the light side of Earth where the sun lights up. And so there you have it. We'll see. The ionosphere is protecting us from all this stuff, but it can interrupt radio communications. So in other words, if you get SOS, why don't you text back? What do you want, SOB? I know somebody in the chat wrote that. Hold on. Who who wrote that? I got I got I got I got to give them credit. Hold on. Where you at? Where you at? Who who wrote that in the chat? Who wrote that in the chat? Hold on. Oh my god. I, I, I think I had it too. I had it too. What is it? Who wrote it? We got giant meter, meteor. Oh uh, yeah, Freddie G. I text SOB, what's going on? <laughs> All right. So what, what 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 can we take away from this? Well, first of all, uh, I hope all of you are safe, uh, especially with the solar flare that came out. But hey, this is I'm I'm going I'm going to spice things up for this segment. Let's have democracy in the chat. Type one if you think this is a natural occurrence, a solar flare, or type two, do you think this is a an EMP attack to distract us? No such thing as a wrong answer. Type one or type two. <laughs> <laughs> 